Hi, I'm Bob from AV Veterans Talk, and this week we're talking to Air Force veteran Bonnie Thompson. Hi, uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, AV Veterans Talk here at Aerotech News, and uh, boy, we're really, really, ex I'm really excited because I've got a fellow Air Force person here with me, <laughs> uh, Bonnie uh, Thompson. Yes. Uh, and uh, Bonnie Thompson uh, served in the Air Force, and she's one of those military uh siblings that uh because uh, her whole your whole family served in the yeah. military uh you say your father was a chaplain in the air force yes yeah. yes and my uh one of my brothers was in the air force he was out at edwards and the other one was in the army mm -hmm. and he was everywhere mm -hmm. i take it that your your father was probably a world war ii korea yeah. era did mm -hmm. uh he he go in when uh when when the war broke out in World War yeah, II, he yeah, did? yeah, he was in for thirty years. Thirty years, okay, mm -hmm. uh, a career guy. Uh, what drove him to become a chaplain in the Air Force? What how'd that um, happen? Well, that might sound silly, but he wanted to be a football player, mm -hmm. and uh, he delivered ice on you know from those ice trucks, mm -hmm. and uh, one fell on his leg, and they thought they're going to have to amputate it. Mm -hmm. And he made a promise to the Lord that he'd become a preacher. Mm -hmm. Just let him keep his leg. Mm -hmm. Until he kept his leg and became a preacher. <laughs> well, that's a great story. You know, yeah. uh, that's really neat. So, so he obviously came from a very religious family mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that, that would do something like that. So, uh, and boy, that's a calling uh, in yeah. the military like that. So, uh, and obviously it inspired you uh, to, to join the military because your family yeah. was there. And uh, you chose the Air Force also, yeah. which we're thankful for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when you went to basic training back in, you said you were 70 to 73? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to become a medical Person. Med tech. Med tech. Where did you go to? Where did they? Um, Lackland Air Force. Lackland Base. Air Force Base. So you mm -hmm. and I share that too. Yeah. So I went to Lackland. Where was it on? <laughs> yeah. And did you uh, did, did you do your uh, you went through your basic training there? Yes. Where did you do your your uh, your medical training at? Same uh, place. Shepherd Air Force. Shepherd Air Force Base. Again, mm -hmm. I went to Shepherd too. Yeah. <laughs> so how fun is that? So uh, yeah, I was at Shepherd. And uh, during that time period, uh, that was during the Vietnam War. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, medical personnel were in uh, high demand. Yeah, they were getting us ready mm -hmm. to go to Vietnam. Right. And you did you ever deploy over? No, I um, ended up getting married to a civilian. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I didn't have to go. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so I stayed there. And went to Bergstrom Air Force Base. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, worked there mm -hmm. in the hospital. Okay. Uh, your duties uh, on an Air Force Base in the hospital, what were you doing? Were you doing RN type uh, um, activities or? Yeah, um, we did medicine and, and um, we cleaned mm -hmm. and we um, transported uh, patients, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and. Um, um, just different on jobs yeah around you the, know worked in in different departments yeah and uh you know uh, fine lady in the in the in the air force you know mm -hmm. uh you know and you met your your obviously when you met your husband while you were in the military mm -hmm. how, how did that come uh, to i i went to high school with him mm -hmm. and um we um we just, we ended up getting married after basic training mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, he worked uh, at san marcus texas oh okay yeah. uh any uh how would you say it uh your your dad was a minister i mean yeah. was there a little was he a little uh he didn't, he didn't want me to get married no no he didn't he did not mm -hmm. no no and uh but you thought better, like all of us young yeah. people do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we know it all. Yeah, and he, I should have done what he. Oh, you shouldn't yeah. say that. You know, we all have our our, our paths in life, and uh, 
I, I look back on things I did when I was young, and I said, like, well, in foresight, looking back, I don't know if I would have done that. Yeah. But, you know, it, yeah. it, it made us who we are today. Yeah. You know, and, uh, well, you know, we got to be uh, thankful for the journey, sometimes if it's rough or not. So That's it's, right. it's all good. Uh, so uh, you decided to get out of the uh, Air Force, and when we well, come back, hold on. No, oh, I'm going to take um, a break here yeah. real quick, give you a chance to reset here, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about you getting out and wanting to become an RN and going to school. So we'll be right back here with Bonnie at AV Veterans Talk. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of AV Veterans Talk here at Aerotech News. <laughs> 